Today, we're diving into the dark side of South Africa's history as we explore the stories of the five worst serial killers that have terrorized the nation. First on the list is Gert Van Royen. Gert Van Royen remains one of South Africa's most notorious unsolved cases. Active in the late 1980s, Van Royen and his accomplice, Joey Harhoff, abducted and murdered at least six young girls, getting rid of their bodies after they killed them. It is believed that Gert Van Royen was part of a pedophilia group and did most of the killing. The couple got caught when their last kidnap victim got away after being sexually assaulted and locked in a cupboard. She managed to escape and alert the police who placed the home under surveillance and four days later identified Van Royen when he drove past his house in a white Ford pickup that matched the description of a vehicle used in one of the abductions. Upon discovering the abducted teen's disappearance, Van Royen knew the police were onto him. He shot and killed his partner Harhoff with a .22 revolver before turning the gun on himself. The pair died before they could be apprehended, and the bodies of their victims have never been found. Number two is Moses Sithile, also known as the ABC killer. Moses targeted women in the mid-1990s. He would offer them jobs before assaulting and murdering them. Scythol was arrested for rape in his teens and spent seven years in prison. He later blamed his imprisonment for turning him into a murderer. He explained his crimes by saying that the women he murdered all reminded him of the women who had falsely accused him of rape years before. Sethol's killing spree lasted for over a year, and he was eventually captured in 1995. He was found guilty of 38 murders and 40 rapes, and he was sentenced to over 2,000 years in prison with 38 life sentences. Third is Cedric Mackey. Cedric Mackey, known as the Wemmer Pan Killer, terrorized Johannesburg between 1996 and 1997. The Wemmer Pan murders involved several patterns of victims. The first were men and women walking alone who make a bludgeon to death with rocks. The second group of Wemmer Pan victims were couples in cars around the Wemmer Pan area whom Make would assault, shooting the men and raping the women. He targeted couples in secluded areas, forcing them to perform sexual acts before brutally murdering them. Maki was charged with 36 counts of murder, 28 attempted murders, 15 counts of rape, 46 counts of aggravated robbery, and other offenses relating to the unlawful possession of firearms and ammunition, he is currently serving multiple life sentences. Number 4 is Sipo Twala. Sipo Twala, the Phoenix Strangler, was a serial rapist and murderer who preyed on young women in the KwaZulu-Natal province in the late 1990s. Twala would abduct his victims, rape them, and then strangle them to death. He was arrested in 1997 after South African police matched DNA found on the victims to DNA taken from Thwala in 1994, when he was also arrested and released of a rape. On the 31st of March 1999, the High Court in Durban found Thwala guilty of 16 murders and 10 rapes, and sentenced him to 506 years in prison. He is currently being held at C-Max Maximum Security Penitentiary in Pretoria. And lastly is Jack Mokale. Jack Mogale, also known the West End serial killer, was active between 2008 and 2009 in the Johannesburg area. He targeted vulnerable women, posing as a preacher before raping and murdering them. Two women who survived being attacked by him testified at trial that he had claimed to be a Zion Christian Church preacher and a prophet. Mogul was found guilty of 16 murders and 19 rapes, and is currently serving 16 life sentences. These chilling stories of South Africa's worst serial killers serve as a stark reminder of the evil that can lurk within our society. We hope this video has provided you with a deeper understanding of these heinous crimes and the impact they've had on the nation. Thank you for joining us on this dark journey.